Hello, in this video, we're going to look at uh, some easy subtractions that you can use, um, <clears throat> some easy subtraction skills that anyone can use to ease in your computation. <laughs> so, and this is going to be, I'm going to show you how to do this one very quickly. And then we're going to use that one for um, understanding the following the following questions. So here I have A, B, this is going to show us um, the skill to demonstrate the skills afterwards. We're going to use the skill now to um, compute the uh, the following four exercises. So it's not so difficult, but um, more, uh, you have to. It's good good to know or good to good to have skill uh, when you're doing this kind of um, calculate uh, subtraction. So in any case, you have you have subtract any small smaller number, for example, to from a whole number. There's always a method and that makes work easier. So for example, if you have 100 in this one here, A, 100 minus 43. So in this case, um, the work is easier just by saying the last number here, which is three, subtracted from 10. So the last number there is 10. So say 10 minus three will give you what? Seven. And then the rest, the second number you subtract from nine. So here we have nine automatically. So you have here nine minus four will give you five. So this is a very nice method that will help you, that will make your work easier. You don't have to think in terms of like carrying forward, um, borrowing from where, no. Just think the first number uh, you subtract from 10, the rest is nine, nine, nine. So the same here. The first one from the first number here, subtract from 10. The rest here will be nine and nine. You subtract from that and then you have your answer. So this is going to be so easy. So let's say the first number is nine. So 10 minus that one, three is going to give us seven. And then second one, you're going to subtract from nine. So we have here uh, nine minus seven will give you two. Nine minus six is going to give you three. So that's going to be your answer. Now with that skill, we want to use that skill now to subtract, to <clears throat> find out the values, that the missing values in the numbers below. So let's look at the following um, cases. I think the first case here, this one and this one, I think the, the method that we've just looked at will be more applicable. And then this one is also, um, it's going to give us subtraction, but they are also simple to do, but um whatever we just saw is more applicable here so let's look at this number so we have we're asking ourselves in this case now we're looking at numbers that if you add to these numbers for example 550 what number do you add to it to give you 1000 so basically the the question they are trying to ask is either uh, for you to get the number that is missing you can also just say what is 1000 minus this number here or minus this number here, 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 and then things becomes easier. Okay, so that is like kind of like um, subtraction in this guys. And that's what we're going to do now. Now here we have five hundred and fifty. So again, what did I say? The first number, if it's zero, you just keep it zero. Okay. The second one you subtract from ten, so that's going to give us five. And the second one, you subtract, the last one you subtract from nine. So nine minus five is going to give you four. That's how you do it. Now here again, we have 85, okay? So the first number here, which is five, we subtract from 10. So that's going to give us five. The second number, which is nine, we subtract that one from, uh, which is eight, we subtract that from nine, which is going to give us that and of course then we have the other nine so here also the first number so because it's zero we just say zero and then we have 10 minus 5 will give us 5 and then the next one is have 9 the same here we have 850 so zero will just remain zero and then we say the first number that is full number, whole number, which is not zero, we subtract from 10. 
So that's going to be five minus, from 10 will give us five. And then nine minus eight will give us one. Okay. So that's going to be easy. So this is going to be zero, zero. And then we say, what is nine? What is 10 multiplied by um, uh, subtract? What is 10 minus three is going to give us seven. So using this method, uh, subtraction becomes so easy. Again, here, the same zero, we're going to write zero. And then we say five minus 10 minus five. So subtract five from 10. So this is going to give us five. And then we say, what is nine minus six here? We know it's three. So 350 becomes our answer. So that is the easiest way to handle that. Now, the same with three, with uh, 500 is a whole number. So what we want to see is here, we know that in most cases, we're going to remain here with four. But then it's going to be easier if we say, okay, the zero, the first zero is going to be zero. Okay. And the second one, we're going to say 10 minus, 10 minus five is going to give us five. But in this case now we have one. So this is now 400 minus two, four minus two should give us two. Okay. The same now, here we have zero. Sorry for that. So here we have zero. So the first answer is going to be zero, but then we have three from 10 will give us seven. And then uh, the rest we have, we have four because this is half of 1000. So um, everything that will remain will be either 400, so we have four to subtract the rest. So again, this is going to be zero, zero. And then we say five minus one should give us four. Okay, again here, we are going to say the first number, we're going to subtract from 10. So 10 minus five is going to be five. The rest one is going to be nine. So nine minus Seven is going to be two. And then we have four, four minus one is going to give us three. Again, here we have zero and zero, so it's going to have zero. And then we're going to say, what is 10 minus five is going to be five. And then four minus four is going to be four. So that's how it goes. Now, how about here? So we have, Five from five, we subtract 10. 10 minus five, we're going to have five here. And then the next one is going to be nine minus eight is going to be one. And then of course we have for the other side. So for 15 will be the answer. So now in this case, again, what we are trying to say is what number is missing for us to get 850. So we have 430. So we say, what number is missing for us to get this one here? So basically what we, what we mean here is like, what is 850 minus 430 to give us this number here? So since let's say for, for this case, now we're going to take the normal approach. Now we're going to say, what is 50? minus 20, so zero, zero will of course remain zero. And then we say five minus three will give us two. And then we have here eight minus four will give us four. So 420 is what is missing. Then we come to this number here. We say, what is zero minus zero is going to be zero. What is five minus this zero here is going to be five. And then we say, what is eight minus six is going to be two easy. The same now here, we're going to say zero minus zero is going to be zero. And then we say, what is um, eight minus five? We have the three. And then sorry for that. Yeah, so 15 minus eight 
Yeah, so we're going to borrow one from here. So that this one remains seven and this one is also seven. So it's the same. So then we have 15 minus eight is going to give us 77. So that's going to be 70. Um, and that's, now in this case, the second one we're looking in, this case we're going to have here again, um, in our case here, we have 850 again and 350. So we know zero plus just zero is going to be five minus five is going to be zero. And then we say, what is eight, eight minus three is going to give us five. That's how you get it. And again, we're going to say zero plus minus zero is going to be zero. Five minus three is going to be two. And then eight minus eight is going to be zero. So here we have 20. That's how you feel it. That's how easy it can be. Now let's go here to 692. And this is an easy division, uh, a subtraction that you can always use and make a game with kids. So again, here we're going to say, what is nine, which is two minus zero? It's going to be two. What is nine minus five? It's going to give us four. Okay, and six minus six is going to give us zero. So that one remains. Again, here, let's go to this one. So two minus zero is going to give us two. Nine minus eight is going to give us one. And six minus five is going to give us one. So, and let's go to 532. Two minus two is going to give us zero. Nine minus three is going to give us six. And then six minus five is going to give us one. So again, here, two minus two is going to give us zero. Nine minus five is going to give us four. And then six minus four is going to give us two. <clears throat> Let's continue. We have two minus zero here. It's going to give us two. Nine minus three is going to give us six. Six minus two is going to give us four. And finally, we say two minus zero is going to give us two. Nine minus two is going to give us seven. And then six minus three is going to give us three. So that is all I wanted to share with you now. <clears throat>